Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. guys, welcome, welcome to another dig. It's a Saturday and it's raining. I've got, I've got this all new weather suit on, it's cool. It's keeping me dry. I don't know what's going to keep the day dry, it's keeping me dry, which is the main thing. Um, I've come into an old permission again. The reason I'm doing these old permissions, basically simply, I want this dais to prove itself. And I don't want to take the dais to a new bit of land and then say, oh, look, it's finding all these things because I didn't, I haven't been on it with the Euroways. So, if I come to these places I've done with the Euro Ace, try it with the Deus, see if I can't pick up some, some smaller targets, a bit of silver, whatever, um, and then it'll prove itself, if that makes any kind of sense. Um, so the finds I don't think are going to be blowing your mind off, but there might be some. This field again, same field, got two hammers from in this very corner that I'm standing. So I'm going to go cross, 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 cross and see what, it, what we can bring up. I'll show you the settings. Hi guys, here's the settings. I'm going for coins deep, 26.6 uh, kilohertz. Um, I've altered, I'm a bit brave, I've altered some of these like discrimination, I've altered, and a few others. Reactivity have altered a little bit. I'm just giving it a try. I don't want to go too deep into these settings in case they turn out to be a pile of. I don't want you guys using them whenever. <laughs> But uh, anyway, we'll soon find out, so let's uh, give it a go, let's crack on and have a little dig, shall we? Hi guys, first find, small thin piece of copper, it was coming up with like a 30s VDI number. I didn't really want to film it because there's a storm coming in, I haven't got a lot of time, so I didn't, I didn't want to start filming the 30s, it's a 30s, and it's a small thin piece of copper. So, that could have been a small thin piece of hammered, it's not, but it could have. So those settings aren't too bad that I've put in, so let's keep trying, let's crack on and see if we can't get some more. Hi guys, getting a strange signal here. Let me just show it you. It's coming up as an 8586. But there's also sounding like there's a bit of rubbish in there. Now it's either because it's a piece of kind of shaped crap like last week like with that iron rod that was giving all sort of jumpy numbers or it could be something good in with something crap let's give it a dig all right well this is a fine guys i can kind of understand out where it was coming from look at the size of that all look at the mess it's just a bog total bog anyway you see it i thought it was a cartwheel when i pulled it out but it's not a cartwheel because it's actually made of iron and that's why i was getting sort of a bad and a good signal both at the same time it was seeing it as iron and as a big round thing. Not got a clue. I'll have to chip some of that iron. I can see some sort of detail on it, but it could be just a big. Oh, <laughs> it is just a big washer. I can push that in then. But at least I got to clean that up when I get home. So that's what it was. So let's crack it on. Uh. Hi guys, I'm not kneeling down to take a shot of this, but I am getting the king of these. I am getting the king of them. There's, there's, there's no, no two ways about it. Um, I was talking to somebody in the week about these, Tina. Let me show you what it is. It's that. Oh shoot, again. Gave off for like a 55, 56. It's sort of stayed around that. Uh, not a brilliantly massive signal, but I dug it anyway because I've had a few uh, targets for a while. And it's all shoe, so now I have got to go and find a. That's my nearest tree. It's my nearest tree, but the problem I've got is I can't get to the base of the tree because it's behind edge. So I'll have to just sort of kind of place it in the edge near the tree. I mean, it counts. 
It counts. Look at the feel. Come on, it counts. Come on. Give me some of it. A little longer than a few minutes later. Hi guys, yes it's another day and yes this weather has turned. I've got my little weather suit on. It's keeping me dry, it's keeping me dry. Not many finds. This weather's crap, this grass is too long, no more moaning. But just have a look at this. You found his baddest gate home. Oh, I'm under a tree. Mystery object. Number two, one, one, two, one, two. Joanne. Gave off a belting signal. I don't know if you can hear that, but he gave off a belting signal, it was in the 80s, 90s. Yeah. So let's uh, carry on in this rain. My hands are freezing and see if we can't get something. Well, meanwhile. Hi guys. I'm in a field. I've been waiting for the crops to come out. I've done it a lot of times before with the uh, Garrett. I picked up a lovely hammered in here at the start of the year, James the First. I'll put a link at the end of the video. Keep an eye out for that link, James the First it was. I've been picking up little bits like um, shotgun shells, a bit of hot rock, and I've just come across this. Now, is this a good find or is it a cack find? It's this. What do you think that is? What is that? It's not a catch or a special shovel or a... Is it part of a Roman brooch or something? I don't know. I really don't know. Came up as a lovely 82 on the Deus. Awesome. That's going to be one of them really... I don't know. I haven't got a... I think it definitely looks brochy of some some kind I need a Roman expert or an expert <laughs> let's carry on hi guys <clears throat> as you can see space done its job now, it takes a lovely, nice, le neat little hole. Not too much overspill of it. I got a bit of a signal here, it was nothing too much. <sighs> Just a lead bullet. I think it's a lead bullet. I'm sure I could feel rings on it. I get smashed into something. Just a lead bullet. But yeah, it digs a lovely, le neat little hole. Like I say, it's not too big. The other one used to, like, dig a massive hole sometimes you don't really need a massive hole sometimes especially if you look at the size of, of that yeah I'm quite pleased with that let's crack it on hi guys I'm sitting on my favorite tree favorite time of the year so I think it's time we had a bit of metal detecting news don't you <laughs> Well, the news is mine lab i think are finally getting ready now to release the vanquish i've seen paul c do a video link will be in the description box below um i, I noticed the vanquish was kind of shown at detectable i don't think anybody really got a hold of one apart from paul c but he's done another video with the 540 now, as far as i'm aware there's, there's, there's a low range mid range and the high range which is the 540 and it looks like it's been aimed to get into that Garrett market with the Garrett 150, 250, 350 Oro Ace, 400i, and up and up and up and up. Some of the settings and the features on the, the, the Vanquish look very Garrett-esque. It's not, it's got a red back light, it's got the lot. And it's also got what I still can't understand why Garrett hasn't started doing it yet, is Bluetooth technology get it in there get your Wi-Fi on why they haven't done that yet I don't know I mean Garrett have this sort of tried and tested set of metal detectors and they work and they sell and they work I, I like the Garrett's but I think it's time that Garrett started just put one out there it's a bit outside the ballpark you know like the mine lab are doing 
get it out there, you know. Get it like the, the, the dais in effect that folds up so small and it's as light as hell. I, you know, come on Gary, you can do it, you can do it. But the mine lab, it does look good, it does look good what I've seen so far. I've not had a price back to me yet, but I think, I, I don't know, I'm sure it's going to be about 300 quid for the 540, don't hold me to that. I know why mine lab have it, held it back, the, the, the letting all the hype go from the um, simplex not to match simplex they're letting that all go off they're going to come in with this new range is it going to be a knock your socks off range well only time will tell when people start getting them start using them i put you on my knee any high range of detectors are going to be good really in theory i want to check out what the lower range might be of these mine lab the, lab, the mine lab vanquish so if you're going to get one and you're gonna put a video up let me know so I can check it out see what it's all about is it gonna be hype but I, I don't think so not with mine lab they don't tend to do hype as such so we'll give it a try that's the news for this week let's crack it on hi guys just trying to do this one little tiny little fraction of an area that I've got left that isn't bogged or underwater it's still a bit wet but it's not as boggy as the other areas a few bits of crap little bits of a pistol ball. This field seems to have a lot of pistol balls and hammered. The hammered. I did get hammered out of here. Um, there's pistol balls and musket balls. Oh, I've got hammered in my head. <laughs> Maybe we get one. Um, so there's been some kind of action in here. What kind of action? I don't know. We'll keep looking. We'll keep looking. Who knows? Let's crack it on. Hey guys, just found this. What do you think this could be? Strange little did it. Very light. Kind of like it's silver. So it's got little pot marks everywhere. Button perhaps. Shame it's not silver. Police well, don't think it is. Let's crack it on. Hi guys. Well, look. Surprise. Another one. These come from as a belt in like 69, 70 sort of signal. 73, 74. So you've got to be dog. Beautiful signal. That's an old one because it's like white, white lead is older. Um, I found a James the first hammered coin in here, start of the year. Is it from that time bit period? Who knows? I'll put a link to that video at the end. Awesome. Little pistol ball. Let's crack it on. Hi guys, just show you these last two finds. This area, this little bit that I've done was a lot, lot better than what I thought. Okay, nothing treasury's come out, but it just shows sometimes maybe that's what I'll do in the future. I'll, I'll sort of square a bit off and just do this square. Just keep doing this square, going deep settings and just see what's down there, see what's coming up. It's been a lot of crap, but the finds have been better than what I expected. I'll show you these two now. These two. Hi, right, guys. First find was a lumpy, 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 whatever you got there. Bit of tin foil. And we come across this little river. <laughs> and there's the second find. Nice little butter on. Thought it was a coin at first, but unfortunately it's just a butter on. But that's a really old button. Look how deep that is. Look. And a really old baton. So we call it a day for today. Um, hopefully it doesn't rain in the week and this field starts to dry itself up. If not, it's probably going to be like this most of the winter. And it's good for, you know, it's a good little find, little bum. Thanks for looking in. So all I have to say, thanks for looking in. Um, what is that find? Let me know. Let me know in the comments below. Give it a thumbs up on the way past. Give it a subscription as well. On the very way past, it's the same direction. You might as well give it a go. Thanks for looking in. Join me on the next.